let me ask have i asked did we ask this question tj uh to you uh are you with me do you believe that cardano will pass ethereum one day that's a tough one. so dz did we dz and i talked about it right after you made that prediction uh it's tough um you know because basically what you're saying is it will be no, like if you've got ethereum is going to pass bitcoin and cardano passes ethereum that basically puts cardano number one yeah potentially you know market cap wise mm -hmm. and so and basically you're just saying it in all of time could be 10 years could well, be uh, 10 years my, my timeline six to ten years six to ten years. it's basically two cycles away two to three cycles away hmm. i i thought for sure you'd say yes I, you, I mean you, I, you, you were way bigger into cardano yeah. when we met than i was no i love card and i really do like cardano in a lot of different ways it's just it's it's fighting fighting the system versus gaming the system yeah you know and like I we, can, you, we can see different chains go in different directions and it's it's pretty it's too hard for me to call where i can say with any con like to me it's a toss-up i could see a scenario where cardano wins i could see a scenario where ethereum or maybe even a new you know like something like an aptos or something some of these new ones that you know just come up and just dominate you know so it's yeah. it's tough to call i put it this way i want it to be cardano yeah i want cardano to be the number one thing i'm i think it makes the most sense to me you yeah. know from a human standpoint from a decentralization mm -hmm. standpoint, from a your dog's name is ada my dog's name is ada yeah that, that should tell you everything you need to know yeah. so yeah uh somebody said wow. uh, uh paul mack up there in the chat said uh ethereum will be the top store of value coin no, and cardano so. will be the top platform i don't think so I, what why would you not think that when the tokenomics of ethereum and the friendliness of institutions and yields are way better with Ethereum. How would you think Bitcoin is going to stay a better store of value? Uh, because I think the non-change factor matters when you're trying to store value, and the fact that you know I don't think nations necessarily are going to want to be putting stuff in like storing their value in Ethereum. Um, you know, I still think gold and silver, regular commodities, will hold. It'll take a long time for those to not be you know regular store of values. I just think the fact that Ethereum does evolve and change. Uh, that undermines its ability to be store of value. I think it can be the base layer for transactions on the internet and have a lot of upside and potential. Um, but I just think the supply and demand and the simplicity of Bitcoin is what's going to keep it as a store of value, just in my opinion. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. I, I tell you right now, that's the truth. After talking to a lot of these bankers in money 2020, uh, they don't even know that Ethereum exists. Hmm. However, I, I just think when it comes to, uh, you know, the tokenomics, Ethereum is now superior to Bitcoin in tokenomics. I, I just don't think there's really a question. It actually at times will go deflationary. Bitcoin will never be deflationary. So because of that, it's, it's really hard for me to see, you know, six, five, six years down the road, uh, you know, Ethereum's made it for sure. It's definitely not going away that the institutions wouldn't want something they can collect yield on and something that's got better tokenomics. So it's really because the, let's see, I mean, e e Gangman says e supply is way higher regardless of tokenomics or not. That doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't. That, that doesn't mean any. It doesn't matter how many coins a project has. It really doesn't. I understand why you would think that because it causes the asset to have a higher price because it has a lower uh, supply. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is the market cap, the market cap, and the way the coins come into the supply. For Bitcoin, we know the process. We know how many are coming into the supply, percentage wise. There will be way more percentage of Bitcoin coming into the supply next year than a new supply for Ethereum. Right. Way more. Right. So, And that's a change that happened just this year. So yes. that's my point is there could be a time when they decide they need to increase the max supply of Ethereum. And, and then they do it. And so then you would, that wouldn't make for a good store of value. And that, that's, what I'm, that's just what I'm saying is the fact that Bitcoin hasn't changed will start to become well it, bitcoin can do that too though. it can but mm -hmm. it never has and that's what i'm saying is it's that will become stronger and stronger as time goes on in my opinion we'll see we'll see i i i i think the the narrative of ethereum and store of value really would kick in on the next cycle after this one maybe this one too well i mean once we'll again i think ethereum will get to the number one spot which obviously once it's number one it's it's that strengthens its argument as a store of value 